The South Shore of Massachusetts is known for its close-knit communities and amazing coastlines. But in 2014, something special was forming in the little town of Hingham, Massachusetts. Hingham Harbor Women's Soccer. Three straight Division II state championships, three straight South Sectional Championships, and three Patriot League titles in four years. But where did this all begin for the Harbor Women? The town knew these girls had talent. After all, these girls almost won states in their U-12 league during middle school. After beating rivals Whitman Hanson and Situate during the regular season for the first time in several years, the Harbor Women knew they had a special team. After completing an undefeated season, the Harbor Women had one goal in mind, a state championship title. Their dreams were almost shattered by Milton in the first round of the state tournament. The game went to the second overtime period before senior Carly Baggett scored to keep the dream alive. The girls then soared through the rest of the South Sectional, defeating rival Situate in the South Sectional final, and send them to the program's first ever state championship game versus Arlington. The girls' teamwork shined through as they won the state championship title in thrilling last minute fashion by the score of three to two. With the victory, along came some well-earned notoriety. All right, for High Five this evening, we travel along Route 228. We pull into Hingham High School, where the girls' soccer team has just made school history. But that is just a fragment of what makes this group of young women so unique. Together on three. One, two, three, together! They do most everything together. They study together. They play soccer together, and they win together. The X's and O's sort of went out the door when it gets down to crunch time, and they uh, came through in every way possible. When the final whistle blew was like the most unbelievable feeling I've <laughs> ever had in my entire life. Tell me what the feeling was like holding that championship trophy. Well, Carly and I were bawling our eyes out, but <laughs> <laughs> not tears of sadness, but it was immense joy. Like, there's no feeling. I've never felt that way in my life, and I don't know if I ever will. We salute the Hingham girls soccer team. Division II state champs, and this week's High Five! Happy Holidays! Entering 2015 as the defending state champions, the girls knew they wanted to go back to back. With a young team and a town behind them, the girls yearned for that second title. With 2014 star Eve Hewins injured during the first part of the season, 2015 started with a losing record. This didn't stop the Harbor women. Caroline Harkins, a sophomore at the time, stepped in to fill the void. Later in the season, with Hewins returning from her injury, Team started gathering momentum and made it to the tournament with a 15-5-1 record. In the South Sectional semifinals, the Harbor women faced Duxbury, who had beaten Hingham twice during the regular season. However, this game had a different ending. In a driving rainstorm, the Harbor women beat the Dragons in double overtime to advance to their second straight South Sectional championship game. Their next opponent was crosstown rival Notre Dame Academy in a matchup that would feature the two prior state champions. NDA, who had won the 2013 state championship, versus Hingham, 2014 state champions, would face off in a battle to see who would earn the right to compete in the 2015 state championship title. In front of a huge crowd, the Harbor women came out of the match victorious in another overtime game 
and move on to the state championship game versus a favored Concord Carlisle team. The Harbor women played tough. Scored early. And came out on top, capturing their second state title in two years, a three to nothing win. Finishing out their slow start with a storybook ending. With Hewins in her final season as a Harbor woman in 2016, seven other starters returning, the Harbor women were poised for a three-peat. It was a buzz around the South Shore wondering if these girls could do it. With the coaching and motivation of head coach Ryan Pinkiri, the girls remained humble and focused on the three-peat. This season was another that the Patriot League title would come down to a win versus women Hanson. Harkin scored a late game winner during Hingham's homecoming day to clinch their second Patriot League title in three years. Teamwork presented throughout the season lifted the Harbor women through the tournament to a rematch against 2014 foe Arlington in the state championship. Hingham knew that Arlington was going to be out for revenge. Team fell behind one to nothing early in the match. Battled back to tie the game one to one. A goal by senior captain Emily Rosso. With play spewing into overtime, the Harbor women clinched the title with one on one matchup between Hewins and Arlington's goalie. With the ball reaching the back of the net, and Hingham completing their third straight championship, Harbor Women's Soccer had truly established themselves as a powerhouse in Massachusetts girls' soccer, as well as gained national attention as the number six team in the nation. But in 2017, a daunting challenge lay ahead for these Harbor women. Along with the graduation of numerous starters, the Harbor women moved from Division II to Division I soccer, meaning they would have an even more challenging road ahead of them to get the four-peat. However, even with the immense pressure of the switch of divisions, Coach Puntieri's goal remained the same, to be in the mix and to make a deep run in the playoffs. Hingham and Division I foe Whitman Hanson each won one game at home in the regular season. The Harbor women's win allowed the girls to capture back-to-back -back Patriot League titles their third in four years. Players from both teams knew that they would inevitably be facing off at some point in the playoffs, and they did. As they had throughout this incredible run, the crowd showed up in big numbers for a showdown with Whitman Hanson in the Division I South quarterfinals. Hingham jumped out to a 1-0 lead off the foot of Harkins. Hingham kept pressure on Whitman Hanson throughout the game including many scoring chances. However, the path to a fourth straight state championship came to an end.
after a hard-fought and thrilling game that was decided in the final minute. Whitman Hansen came out on top, two to one. The Harbor women finished their season 17, two and one and left a lasting legacy that will endure at Hingham High School forever. In closing, I quote Jim McCann's special letter to the Hingham High School girls soccer team in the December 28th, 2017 edition of the journal. This program has advanced to the level that state championships are expected. This was a lot to ask of this group of girls, but they were up to the task. They practiced hard, set goals, and worked toward the lofty goal of winning again, this time in Division I. The Harbor women have no reason to be disappointed in the season they had, the effort they put out in every game, nor the loss in their final game this season. They represented themselves, hang them high, coaches and parents in a remarkable fashion. For the fans who filled the stands for the final game, they were well rewarded. Usually a high school team has a year or two of success often followed by a steep decline. This doesn't seem to be the case here. Next year, Hingham girls soccer will be competitive again with a new goal, win Division I. Thanks to the seniors who showed by example, worked hard and demonstrated true leadership. They passed on those responsibilities to the next group. The seniors will be remembered for their accomplishments and contributions to the program and will always be part of the body of girls soccer players who have played before them at Hingham. To coach Ryan Puntieri, who has changed the direction of girls soccer success at Hingham High, thanks for guiding these young women as competitors on the field and in life. And to Margaret Conaty, whose contributions as athletic director have been so valuable in advancing the Hingham High School's athletic programs, thank you. To Coach Renee Lepore, whose quiet contributions belay her importance to the success of these teams, congratulations and thank you. For the parents who have sacrificed much, the boosters who participated is often unrecognized to you also, congratulations. And most of all, to all the players who worked so hard, played so well and represented Hingham High as you did, congratulations and thank you. Hopefully, these days will be remembered fondly and serve you in your life's pursuits.